You're watching Buzz TV's The Daily News, your one-stop source for what's going on today in the 3D and entertainment industries. We can begin? Hello. Hello and welcome to Buzz TV's The Daily News for Thursday, May 31st, 2007. I'm Zach. And I'm Buzz. And today in the news, switching over... Why are we switching? We're not. You are. I know. You know, the cool <laughs> thing is in a VTM, this is where I usually hit stop and scream, damn it! Yeah, it is. And start again. And, we, and nobody even knows we do that, but now we're doing it all kind of live on camera. And then I say it again, and then I once again scream, oh, why am I switching? We're not switching from anything. We're going to get a two-stroke penalty. Let's take another mulligan, Kay. and we'll start it over. You ready? <clears throat> do you want me to start again? I'll go ahead and start all this time. Ready when you are. Hello and welcome to Buzz TV's The Daily News. Today, Thursday, May 31st, 2007. You know that's kind of a lie. It is. It's, it's actually it's Friday. June 1st. Oh my God, it's June 1st. It's Holy June crap. 1st. Yeah. Well, it's not going to be like May 32nd. But we're going to do another show that will be for June 1st. Uh, Today's the show we've for had May 31st. A, we've had an overflow. I can't believe that actually just came into my mind. Ah. Over overloaded the variable. Hello and welcome to Buzz TV's The Daily News. Today is Thursday, May 31st, 2007. Starting off with some entertainment news. Potter Park due at Universal Orlando. Warner Brothers and Universal Orlando Resort are partnering to create the wizarding world of Harry Potter. A theme park within a theme park. Sweet. Based on, of course, the hit book and film franchise at the Islands of Adventure at the Universal Orlando Resort. The attraction is expected to open in late 2009. Heavens knows they should have enough money to create one of the most amazing theme parks. I'm sorry, one of the most amazing theme parks within a theme park ever seen before. They have enough money, they can <clears throat> just build their own country. So I take it we're going to have the castle. Probably. I mean, you've got to have the castle. You know, I think Disney should counter by doing the uh, the Shipwreck Island from Pirates. Yes. And then which one would be more popular? What was it? Shipwreck Cove, Terry? I don't remember what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they should do that. Yeah. Anyways, moving on to another news. The Teen Titans movie is coming. Oh, Whoa. I just... Whoa. I just had... I just had some bad thoughts. Back off. Okay. <laughs> no, not that. The oh. Harry Potter park. I was thinking of what rides <laughs> would... End. No. <laughs> it, it's all over. No, no further. It's like, what kind of rides would be cool? DC Comics <laughs> Teen Titans will be adapted into a live-action movie for Warner Brothers, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Nothing involving Hermione. <laughs> Akiva Goldsman and Carrie Foster will produce uh, their, uh, through their, Weed Road Company. That is, was bound to come out wrong. While Mark <laughs> Verheiden has been brought on board to write the script. Whoa ho. <laughs> the Teen Titans first appeared in 1964 as a sort of junior Justice League comprising Robin, Kid Flash, Aqualad, Wonder Girl, and Speedy, the respective sidekicks of Batman, Flash, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and Green Arrow. So it's going to be a movie about sidekicks, which will probably greet, be greeted by a warmed-over audience screaming, who gives a damn? Moving over to gaming news. See, that works now. Because yeah. now we are switching from the world of entertainment to gaming. Well, yeah, because we were so just that's starting the saying. show. You don't, yeah, you don't switch when you start the show. Precisely. Yeah. Switching over from your greeting to the news. <laughs> Which is what we were doing, technically. <laughs> yeah, if you My head that, is... we'd have been fine. <laughs> but you're just like, oh, switching over into the news. What? what? Nintendo makes the cover of Fortune Magazine. Nintendo made the cover of the June issue of Fortune Magazine, but you can read it online here. Terry, they, they can't click the yeah, link on my on paper. The, he's, to, I, I guess he's going to do like, like a, something along the bottom of the screen here. Here. Okay. Well, there better be is. now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, included in the article are all the fun facts about how Nintendo creamed the competition. Thank you. Hang on, that takes me back to the Potter Park. <laughs> I was just wondering when that was going to happen. I've got some ideas. Back would, to Harry Potter. The lines would be just incredibly long. It would be a all male park, long but I mean, like... <laughs> yes, bring forth your wands. Anyways, precisely. See, I could just red. Did you I know could that? just keep dropping hints, and you'll figure out all my rides. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, it's probably nothing you haven't heard before if you've been... Well, you haven't heard about that Harry Potter ride before, but if you've been keeping tabs on Nintendo and the launch and the Wii and all that good stuff, I'm sure you know that the Wii's been kicking ass. Well, the whole story could have been said 
Sony does not make the cover of Fortune magazine. <laughs> Again. Actually, you could. You'd take everything where it says Nintendo, replace it with, like, Sony did not, and let's see how the thing reads. So... Sony did not make the cover of the June issue of Fortune magazine, but you can read it online here, included in the article, are all the fun facts about how Sony did not cream the competition. It's probably nothing you haven't read before if you've been keeping tabs since the launch, but it does add some insight into the history of Sony did not. Launch. And a battery exploded. <laughs> there you go. Uh, free Half-Life 2 games via Steam for ATI Radeon owners. If you can get Steam to work. There you go. And a brilliantly concocted promotion... I mean, yes, Steam has improved significantly from way back in the day. But I just saw you having trouble with it a week or so ago. I had just got done singing its praises about how much better it had become and how much greater it was. Than and then he went to launched. show it to me. And then I went to go use RoboBlitz to record a VTM, no less, or at least to do a little research for one. And it's like, so no, you can't do any research to learn how to record this VTM or to get to or to prep for it. Steam is currently on vacation. Please yeah, check back later. Steam's on its lunch break. That's right. So the game that you paid for is un unavailable right now. But it'll be back soon. It's is lame, and I should sue freaking Valve. Fadui. You know why? Fadui? Well, because I had work that I, was be that I was trying to get done based on their service. Fadui. That's probably covered in their ULA, though. Probably. Anyways. We we reserve the right to take your money and not provide you with what you think you're paying for. Do you yeah, like it? I think we should add that to our ULA. <laughs> Anyways, Valve announced today that owners of ATI Radeon graphics cards can score a handful of free games via Steam. Half-Life 2 Lost Coast and Half-Life 2 Deathmatch are among the freebies, and the promotion includes discounts on other games as well. In addition, Steam will be included in all ATI Catalyst software and driver packages throughout early 2008. Yay, you try to install the driver and you're going to get Steam too. Fabulous. Uh, so it'll be like viral marketing, especially with the viral part. Uh, anyone who buys the new ATI Radeon HD 2900 XT will also receive Team Fortress 2 Portal and Half-Life 2 Episode 2, which is almost more gaming goodness than the human mind can comprehend, but it doesn't matter because it's not going to be out for a while anyways. Just like this next game. Speaking of not coming out for a while anyways. No StarCraft 2 this year. year. No StarCraft 2 in 2007. But, That's right. Yeah. <laughs> None this year. It's tired. It's late. <laughs> no, it's not tired. It's late, and I'm tired. Oh. No. Okay. And we, we've come too far. <laughs> yeah, we've come too far. In an interview with MSNBC, Blizzard's vice president of game design, Rob Pardo, uh, uh, reveals some juicy details about the development of StarCraft II. I disagree here. This is not juicy details. The team considered adding a fourth race to the mix, but in the end decided to stick with the tried and true trio. That's, That's not, not juicy. juicy. That's like, aw. I mean, that is only your most die-hard StarCraft II fans. Oh, details. Yeah. Of what? Something that detail. didn't pan out? Exactly. And the question everyone wants to know, when will the game ship? When will we be playing StarCraft II? Well, the bottom line was, it'll ship when it's ready. But they did give you a little bit. They said the only thing that he I can give from 3D Realms for is that uh, it is not going to be this year. Yeah. I, I, the videos look amazing. And I mean, I, they look amazing. Like, I'm ready to just quit 3D Buzz and play that for a year. I told you it was going to happen. They've done this before. They did it with Warcraft 3. Check it's out like, these amazing videos. Look how awesome it is. It's incredible. Be amazed. But you can't play it That's for right. five more years. That's right. It's going to be forever. <clears throat> new video game bill passes in a day in New York. Yesterday, Game Politics broke the news about a new video game bill under consideration by the New York State Assembly, which would make selling games uh, or mature-rated games to a minor a felony. Which could land you a year in prison. Uh, new, now comes the word that the measure, uh, called, what is this, uh, A08696, has already been approved by the Assembly. Last week, the New York Senate passed its own video game bill sponsored by Senator Andrew Lanza. Uh, legislators on both houses are moving quickly because the current situation, uh, current session, excuse me, ends on June 21st. So. Well, there you go. I, you know, Wow. I understand not wanting kids to play mature-rated games, but the ESRB is not, like, a, a federally regulated thing, so I don't know how they can make this into a film. Well, guess what? <laughs> Alleged Seattle spammer arrested. Yes, I love stories like this. The name the Washington State Office of the Attorney General has dubbed the Seattle spammer. 
was given an August 6th trial during which he is set to face 35 charges related to suspected fraudulent Internet activities. Yeah, baby. Soloway, owner of Newport Internet Marketing, was indicted uh, by a federal grand jury on May 23rd in a U.S. district court in Seattle on 10 counts of mail fraud, 5 counts of wire fraud, 2 counts of email and a partridge and a pear tree. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming. Yeah. Five <laughs> counts of aggravated identity theft and 13 counts of money laundering. Beautiful. <laughs> it's time for you to go to jail. Yeah, busted. And uh, I get all the exciting news tonight. I, was about to say, I thought you were about to say, I get all the email from them. <laughs> yeah, no, I get all the exciting news. Fedora 7's released. Fedora 7, the latest version of the popular community-driven Linux distribution sponsored by Red Hat, was released this morning. Whoa. This is the first Fedora release to incorporate and unify both the core and extra platform components, thus obliviating the need for the traditional inclusion of the word core. That's a salt shaker. Uh, this is also the first release to be constructed with Fedora's new build system, which, was, which will vastly simplify development of custom versions and derivatives. Yes, interesting news, isn't it? Well, it just takes me back to the theme park. Oh. Right, well, is that your wand? Show them the transformer. Look, it's threaded. Yeah, this came in a pack of Lunchables that we found in the corner of the office. It's a toilet seat, or it looks like a toilet seat, and it transforms into a really lousy, if I can open it up, it transforms into a really lousy version of Starscream from the new Transformers movie. It's just a picture. It's not for kids over six. No, not even six, man. When I was six, I thought this was lame. And, like, I still had to be, like, two and be chewing on it. And then cool. <laughs> wow, man. What is it? I don't know, but I can chew on it, so it's See, all right. What else can we show them? This, this is a dongle. It's a dongle. What's it yeah, for? Is this one is for... Uh, uh, old, old, old Maya dongles? It's, it's No, no this could be for 3DS Max or Combustion. I don't know. Um, you saw my saw shaker. We got drill bits. Yeah. Drill bits are cool iPod. Yeah. That's the 30 gig model. Yeah. Um, transmitter pack. Yeah. Right. Turn it off, no. see what happens. Notes. Lots of notes. Yeah. All X and A stuff. You got Logan's monitor right here. Yeah. So it's right off screen. You showed him the drill bits, right? I did. But did you show him the tape? I didn't show him the tape. You got tape. We got. That, that, that's green. That, oh, it's green. Oh, sweet. So it's like <laughs> invisible. Uh, hang on. You have a hole in your head. <laughs> <laughs> this. <laughs> What? <laughs> this is awesome. That's well, actually, what this the, is. the toilet thing was kind of green, too. So they might not be able to see that either. Yeah, that's true. I'm just... Oh. They probably want us to end the show now. Guys, if you want us to end the show, press the stop button. Yeah, because here's the point. I mean, if we've got to sit here at 2 o'clock in the morning and do shows like this... we got to torture you, too. We can do it any way we want. Yeah. If you don't like our shows, that's okay. It's not like we charge money for them. Don't watch. What else we got? Or watch and skip to the parts you want to see. Or, I don't know, something. I don't know. There's your mouse. Got a mouse. A pen. There's I, nothing cool left on the table. I mean, my DS is upstairs. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Oh. Are we just like rounding up cool stuff to show people? No, I was gonna come over here and. I got Terry's Ninja Turtle and a battle axe. And that's cool. Oh no, he's playing with a camera now. Why not? This can't be good. Please remember the camera is plugged in via many cables, and you're bound to break something. Woo! Unless I gotta edit this, right? Woo, why? <laughs> no, I mean, I have to edit this later. <laughs> Woo! What's that have to do with anything? Woo, Terry! This will be a pain in the butt. How's it gonna be a pain in the butt? What are you gonna show, Terry? Oh! This oh, yeah. This is you and Spacey Valkyrie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Prize possession your daughter got for me. Woo! Man, let's see. <laughs> My hey, daughter. She's wearing a green shirt. Will she disappear too? Uh, no, only, well, yeah, actually. You can make her disappear. Sweet. Hey, Heather. Hey, ooh, it's the mysterious Heather with the pepper color hair. Say hi, Heather. Heather Shy. I think we're all on drugs, man. We ain't on drugs. We what are you looking at? <laughs> oh no I can't really tell I don't really know if I want to tell alrighty well ladies and gentlemen like I said it's been a very long and tiring day 
and we're going to wrap things up. With that, Zach, tell them good night. Good night. And we're out of here. We're out of here. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. He'll see you guys tomorrow night.